There you go, yeah. Yes, sir. Pierce has got him one. That's a good fish. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to walk out there and get him. That's a big fish of the day right there. Oh my God, it's a big bass, guys. Oh my God, it's a monster. Oh my goodness. What is up everybody at the Lojo Fishing Fam? Hopefully you guys are having a great day today. As you can see, I'm at one of my favorite places in the world, the Alabama Waterfall, also known as the Big Bass Pond right behind me. Today we got a very special guest with us standing right behind the camera. And it's that guy right there who is just flossing on the haters as usual. <laughs> Guys, obviously I've got Pierce out here with me today, which was one of the most recommended things that you guys have wanted to see on my channel, like a father versus son type fishing challenge deal. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. And let me tell you, there's gonna be some high stakes for whoever loses this challenge. Yeah. Got all of our equipment over here. Pierce has got his little dock demon, which is perfect for his size. I've got my little lose spinning combo. And we've got our secret weapon, which is gonna be the bait of the day. And that's gonna be live minnows, as you guys can see. Rules are gonna be very simple. We're gonna be out here for one hour. We're both gonna use the exact same lure, obviously, which is a live minnow. Whoever catches the most fish wins. And it can be any kind of fish, Pierce. It can be gar, catfish, largemouth bass, crappie, bluegill, green sunfish, bowfin, alligator, literally any fish species. If you bring it onto the shore, that counts as one. We're also going to have like a bonus wager for whoever catches the biggest fish. I've got my little scale over here. So if we catch any good sized fish, we're going to have to be sure and weigh them. Pierce, what's going to happen to the loser of this challenge? I've kind of got an idea, but like maybe the winner gets to choose what the loser eats for lunch. Like for example, so if I win and I want to eat like plain chicken and broccoli, Ooh. then that's what you have to eat. And if you win and you want like a Burger King sloppy worm burger, then I have to eat that. So what does that sound like? I don't know, because I hate broccoli stuff. Well, don't I lose. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking is going to be the best wager, guys. I was kind of thinking like loser has to jump in the pond, but there's two reasons why we can't do that. One, there is an alligator in this pond, and Pierce would be a perfect size alligator snack, so we definitely don't want that. And two, it has gotten really cool in the south last week or two, so that water is crazy cold. And compared to us, we're southern people, so cold water and us do not get along. Guys, if you end up enjoying this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If we can get, let's say, 2,000 likes on this video, then me and Pierce will do some type of a challenge again. And as always, guys, get in that comment section and give us ideas of future challenges that you'd like to see us do. Like cat picks lures. Cat picks lures? That's possible, I guess. I don't know if our cats would even participate in that. Yeah. But time for us to get rigged up time for this challenge to kick off i don't know who's gonna win this who's gonna win this pierce me all right guys let's get rigged up and let's start this clock right now all right we're gonna get pierce rigged up first just to maybe give him a little bit of an advantage yep you're the one <laughs> all right i don't know how you guys like to hook your minnows but i normally go through the mouth i just feel like it keeps them alive a lot longer lets them go and swim and all that good stuff all right pierce yeah oh hold on i think we got a malfunction <laughs> that looks like my first cast normally there we go you just got to use your man muscles <laughs> all right now keep an eye on that bobber because it could go down any second and if it does you just lift up and start reeling don't stop ah this water's cold i keep kicking it up on myself all right let's get mine rigged up these are actually like not even minnows they're like freaking shiners they're huge so I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. Let's try over here. Minnows. These minnows are huge. We might we might just catch ourselves a big fish if the minnows are going to be this big. Oh, I just got a hit. Oh, mine just got destroyed. Oh, I had a fish. I had a fish. He stole my minnow. Oh, man. I may have waited a tad bit too long to set the hook. Well, that's some good news. At least we're getting some action. Let's see if I can get me another minnow and get right back out there. Come on, fish. Come back. Man, something nailed my bobber right over there and was just going with it. But I waited a tad bit too long. Oh, there he goes again. Ah, I missed him again. Dang. As I'm sitting here talking about the hits that I'm getting, got my minnow again. 
And guys, I've had two hits over there, so I'll let Pierce go over there for a little while while I was switching minnows. Oh, there goes mine again. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? How am I missing these fish? Minnow is gone again. This is incredible. Pierce, you better be ready over there, man. If, you're, if your barber goes, you better be ready. Guys, this is crazy. I don't know what kind of fish this is, but he's really ticking me off. This is just unbelievable. Yeah, I know. It should be three nothing right now. But by the grace of the fish gods, and I just slung my minnow off. Awesome. Great. I am on a roll, guys. See, the problem is we're running out of small minnows. There's plenty of big ones in here, but I'm just worried we don't have enough small ones. Some of these minnows are absolutely monstrous. I mean, let me just show you guys. This is like an average size one right here in this batch. And that's a pretty big minnow right there. I'm gonna try to back hook this one. Two over there and one right here. Oh, there goes my bobber again. I got him that time. <laughs> yes, sir. I got something. What is it? Is it a crappie? Yeah, a big crappie. Look at that sucker right there, man. It's a good sized fish. All right, so it's one to nothing, Pierce. You gotta step your game up, man. I'm really surprised that I caught one, caught a crappie on that big minnow. Could be four nothing right now, but as it stands, one to nothing. All right, we're gonna get him right back out there. Pierce is in the money zone right now. He should be getting a bite any minute because he's just in one of them spots that gets a lot of bites. I'm waiting for one of these big bass to come out of this little brush pile over here and just smoke this big minnow. Oh, Bobber just went down. Mine. Mine. Oh, got him. Oh, I feel like a better fish. Real years in, Pierce. Real years in. Because it gets out of my way. Why are you saying why? Oh, he came off. Gosh darn it. Oh, how did my how did my minnow stay on there? Dang it. I had something big on there for like a minute and he just came off. What the heck? That felt like a good fish too. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh my goodness. That fish right there, I mean, the other ones that I missed, I just missed them. Oh, mine's getting hit again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, let it go. Man, I mean, that sucker was, he was on there. He was like pulling drag. And then he was just off all of a sudden. You missed. And this joker is still alive. What a minnow. <laughs> what an amazing minnow. Super minnow. Joker is still alive, still swimming. That's just amazing. This is a nice little spot right here. Cause you, whoa, easy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I wish I'd have got that on camera. Oh my goodness, your bobber's down, Pierce. Your bobber's down. Here, come reel it in. Yep, you got something here. Oh, he came off. No! What is messing with us, Pierce? Dang it. I felt something too. Oh, both falling on rocks. All right, keep an eye on my bobber. I'm about to put you another minnow on there. Guys, there's been a feeding frenzy and we have missed all but one. Maybe that was the key, was falling on rocks. It's good luck. All right, we're gonna put him right back, right back out there where he was. All right, get ready. He got slammed right there and it, whatever it was, it had him too. Golly. Pierce fell on some rocks down here, so I was coming over here to help him. I turned around and saw his bobber was just gone. So I was going to help him uh, reel that fish in, but got off. I think I'm using some subpar hooks. What do you guys think? Oh, you're getting hit. Reel it in, Pierce. Reel it in. Reel it in fast. Keep your rod up, up, Pierce. Up, 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 up. There you go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Pierce has got him one. There you go. Yeah, keep on reeling. That's a good fish. Go, oh, God. Just keep reeling right over my head. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a good fish, dude. That's a really good fish. Oh, well, he's got, he's in this little pile. We gotta wait for him to come out. Guys, this is a good fish right here. It's a nice little bass, dude. Oh, come on. I can't break this line. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to walk out there and get him. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, this water's so cold. Oh yeah. If I can get him. Oh, this water's so cold. Oh, my boots are filling up. 
Watch out for alligators, Pierce. Yeah, look at that. Nice fish. Oh, oh, look at that, guys. Look at that nice fish. We're about to weigh him. That way Pierce will know what his personal best bass is because this is definitely it. Right on the top of the mouth, too. Look at that. Oh, that's sick. Very nice. Give me some on that, man. Nice. Let's weigh this bad boy real quick, then we'll get a picture. My boots are full of water. I had to go in and get them. That was the only option. Tie ball game. I'm gonna say this is a solid two pound bass. I mean, it's a good, certainly a nice bass. If you were in a tournament, you would certainly keep it. Yep. 2.36, almost a two and a half pound bass. Very nice, fat guy, very healthy. All right, well it's tied one to one. And if you guys remember, I said we're also gonna do a big bass thing too, or a big fish. And this is certainly the biggest fish of the day. Oh, he's ready to go. Go the other way, buddy. There you go. <laughs> he was going the wrong way. Very nice. My boots are just destroyed. What happened to my boots? <laughs> they just like fell apart. All right. All right, man, well, how did that feel? That was a nice fish on a tiny little rod like this. Well guys, it's tied one to one right now, but really the key factor is now Pierce has the big fish because if the, if the event of a tie, the big fish is gonna break the tie. So Pierce definitely has the big fish right now at a two and a half pound largemouth bass. So I'm gonna have to really work to catch some numbers or to catch a bigger fish. So, oh, something's got mine, I think. Something's got him, I'm gonna let him eat. Here he, oh, he came off! Guys, I know you guys heard that drag pull for a second. Well, I don't know what kind of creature. This has got to be like a bowfin or a gar. Something is grabbing my minnow and not getting the hook in its mouth. That's the only thing that I can think of. This is crazy. I know. I've missed so many fish today, guys. What? What's the cause of it? I don't understand. It's got to be the it's got to be the, the fish, right? Like whatever's biting it is just like a, a toothy creature or something and it doesn't have a real big mouth to hook. I, I guess I, I'm really not sure. But it's very frustrating, I can tell you that. God, I almost just slipped and fell in the pond. That would have been great. I want to I want to catch whatever it is. Like I want I want to if it's like a bowfin or a gar, I want to catch it. What's a bowfin? It's a big old mud fish, stinky mean fish. Guys, let me know in the comment section what fish you think is has been the one tormenting me all day, whether it's a bowfin or a gar or something like that. I'm just not convinced that these are bass or crappies because I, we, we just missed too many of them, you know. So let me know what you guys think it is. Oh, there he goes. As soon as I put him down. Got him. Oh, that feels like a good fish too. Or, I mean, not good, but better. Oh, no, he's there. Oh, he's trying to dive into that stuff though. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yes, sir, that's a nice fish. That's a big fish of the day right there. Oh my God, it's a big bass, guys. Oh my God, it's a monster. Oh my goodness. Let me loosen the drag some. Oh God, that's a big bass, guys. I'm trying to keep him from jumping. Look at this bass, Pierce. He's huge. Don't come off, please don't come off, bass. Oh my God, look at this sucker. Oh my God, look at that monster right there, Pierce. Oh my God, that's a monster. Holy smokes, where did you come from, dude? Let's go. Holy smokes. That's the biggest bass of the day, now. Yeah. Oh my, right in the top of the mouth, too. God, he wasn't, he wasn't fighting like a champion bass. Look, look at all those scars on him, Pierce. You see all those scars? That means he's old, he's been around for a long time. We're gonna get a weight on this guy real quick. I mean, he's obviously the big fish of the day, but a lot of you guys wanna see me weigh fish more often. All right, there you go, zeroed out. Okay, well, he's not as big as I thought he was, <laughs> five and a half pounds. If this scale's even right, I mean, come on. He looks a lot bigger than that. Yeah. Well, still a big bass of the day, still a monster, whoa. Nice fish. All right, guys, so that's me taking the lead with the number of fish and the big fish, too. All right, big girl. I, I hate that I stressed you out so much, but look, you look like you're all right to me. She had a massive head on her. I think that's why I thought it was so much bigger 
than she was. I think she'll be fine. She's a monster. She's kind of skinny, which is typical for a summer fish. So that's probably, you know, during a spawn, that could be up to a seven or, or more pound bass. All right, guys, things are starting to get interesting here. I have taken the lead two to one with the numbers, and I've also taken the lead with the big fish. But, you know, the thing about Pierce is you can never count him out because he's got a dock demon rod and he's got a giant minnow slash shiner on there. So you really just never know. Never know when that big bass is just going to come swimming by. You just never know. All right, well, as you guys remember, there was an hour time limit and we are running out of time. So this is going to be, this is definitely crunch time for me and Pierce because you feel like whoever catches the next fish, you know, if he catches the next fish, it's going to be a tie ball game. If I catch the next fish, it's going to be a three to one lead. So you feel like the next fish is going to be the most important one of this competition. So we'll see who catches the next one. Oh, oh God, my bobber just got hit, but he let it go. Oh, I just got another bite, but he didn't have it. Oh, just got hit. Oh, man, Pierce just got hit again, but they're not taking it. So frustrating to see your bobber just go under all of a sudden, and then it comes right back up, and like nothing happened. Oh, get ready, get ready. Start reeling, start reeling. I think Pierce has got one. Start reeling, hold your rod down. Start reeling, reel, 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 reel. Pick it up all the way. Now reel, reel, reel. Keep reeling. Yeah. I think Pierce has got one to tie this baby up. <laughs> Things about to get interesting. There you go. Uh-huh. Keep on going. Yeah. Reel that sucker. Where is it? I don't know. You got something big, though. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Oh, it's a turtle. No. <laughs> oh, it's okay. No, you're okay. Pierce, you're okay. I got him, dude. Look at this. Look at this joker. Dang turtle. Gosh darn it. Why did you do that? Oh, it fell right out. Yes. There it is. The hook fell right out. It counts though, by goodness. Ah. <laughs> As you were pulling it in, I was like, why is it not fighting? It wasn't fighting at all. It was just coming in. Oh my goodness. Pierce about killed himself trying to get out of the water. He was coming. Oh my goodness. I don't know how. Thank goodness that hook fell out because I did not want to try to get that hook out of his mouth. Yes. Well, you know what this means, Pierce? It's a tie ball game. That means a couple minnows left. We're going to say next fish wins, okay? okay. So no, well, that means whoever catches the next fish, that's going to win. Because, you know, if, if we end in a tie, I'm going to win because I've got that big fish. So let's, we got about five, ten more minutes left in this challenge. And we'll see if somebody can catch a fish to win this thing. All right, well, let's get them right back out there. That's right, you can never count Pierce out of any challenge. Just when you think there's no way he can catch anything, boom, turtle. <laughs> we said at the beginning, any species counts. I don't know if I said turtle, but I mean, hey, you, you fought him, you landed it, so. Yep, it just got big time interesting. I thought I had a fish on mine. I was like, wait a second. I'm going to put mine out there right next to you, and we're going to just do an old-fashioned next fish wins. And that's the spot. Yep, boom. Both of us. We can't be in a better spot than we are right now. We've got both of our bobbers, guys, like literally right next to each other, and this is one of the hottest zones of this pond. I mean, there's, yeah, I saw that. There's always fish jumping. There's always fish feeding over here. Guys, my GoPro just died, which means the time limit is over, but we're gonna extend this just for like a little five minute overtime and see who's gonna catch this last fish up and win. So I really think one of us is gonna catch one right here if we cannot fall in and kill ourselves. Oh, I fell in the water twice. <laughs> We've both fallen on these rocks a couple times today. Uh oh, oh, I'm getting some action. God, he didn't take it. I'm getting some action. Oh, I think something something's chasing mine or maybe they might even have it i don't know please don't be another turtle oh i hope it's not a turtle although that would win the challenge i guess but because i don't want to have to dig a hook out of a turtle's mouth it's not fun you got i think something's got mine it's just like running from left to right i don't know i guess i'm gonna try to put a little tension see if no there's nothing there maybe that was my minnow swimming like that is that possible that is a MVP of a minnow if he's swimming that hard. That is just fantastic. 
You normally have to beg your minnows to swim that hard. Oh, oh God, mine just went down. No. Uh-oh, this might be the game one and fist. Oh, it came off, no! Guys, I just had the game winning fish and he got my minnow. Gosh, darn it. We've got like two minnows left. Literally two minnows. Oh, why is this happening? These guys are looking mighty lonely in there. Oh, it's gotta be a turtle or something. I don't know. I felt some, felt it on the other end too. It was definitely there. Put them right well, back I'm out there. Really yeah. Uh, I really want to beat him. Hey. Whoa, what is that? Yeah. See all those bubbles? Ooh, I'm gonna go there. That might have been the gator, honestly. Just, I'm not sure. Oh, that was the gator. Okay, let's step back on the land real quick, Pierce. Mm, back up on land. See all that mud getting kicked up? Well, maybe. Man, that was crazy looking. It might have, I don't know if that was the gator or not. That was weird looking. Did you guys see that just there? There was like, all of a sudden, all this mud and stuff got, all of a sudden, all these bubbles and mud and stuff started like, just churning up from the bottom. It was really weird looking. Like, I'm thinking it was the alligator because we know there is an alligator in this pond, but we never saw him. We just saw all this bubbling and mud coming up and, very strange, very creepy. Guys, we have officially run out of time, even though we had that little overtime segment to see if one of us could catch a winning fish. As you guys saw, neither one of us were able to catch one. But you know what? I'm really happy with what we accomplished today because we caught, we caught a crappie, caught a couple of big bass, and then he caught a turtle, of course. So the tiebreaker was going to be the biggest fish. So we ended up with two fish apiece. I had the biggest fish, but Pierce thinks that that turtle might have been more than five pounds, and it very well could have been. We didn't weigh it, obviously, because who weighs a turtle? So this, I guess I'm just gonna give this round to Pierce because that turtle was probably more than five pounds, let's just be honest, but it's not really a fish. So you can make the argument either way, but I think since I'm a professional YouTube fisherman and he is an eight-year-old non-professional fisherman, that the fact that he tied me was pretty good enough. So we're gonna give the victory to Pierce today. So you won, Pierce. So what are we having for lunch? Um, I don't know, maybe pie, 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 uh, pie pies. That sounds like a new place. Pop pie. Popeyes. I can eat some Popeyes as long as it's not. Never mind. As long as it's not Burger King or McDonald's or anything really nasty Sonic. like that. Oh, Sonic is gross too. Well, we'll talk about that off camera. We'll figure all that out. But guys, remember if you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you did, smash that thumbs up button, 2,000 likes, and me and him will do some kind of challenge again. Maybe with artificial lures, or maybe a different species of fish. You guys let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see. If you're still watching and you're not subscribed, guys, what are you doing? It's a little red button right down here. It's completely free. Click it, make it turn gray, and then turn the bell notification on next to it. And that makes you a part, an official member of the Lojo Fishing fan, which is the best subscribers on YouTube. We had a whole lot of fun today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love each and every single one of you guys. Be looking forward to hearing you guys' comments. I'm getting out of here. On to the next fishing adventure. Fist bump, I'm out.